So what we have done, we have put into our Optoline Touch the dimensions, the motor and pump, which we have here in front of us. Laser is on your left side, sensor is on your right side. In order to start the measurement now, what I'm going to do is I open the dust cap, the sensor, park the dust cap, the lower right side, or the sensor, I do the same thing, dust cap, park it underneath. What I mean with parking, you see here, when opening, there is this kind of what I refer to as parking position, both for sensor and laser, laser and sensor. In order to start the measurement, press the M button on lower right side in the dimension screen in order to proceed. You see what I'm being told on the right side, you see that red dot, which hits already in that inner square but it has a certain red fan in light red outside in order to compensate this i see on the screen that i shall use this screen in order to adjust the laser that's what i'm doing so i'm adjusting this laser with the help of that screw and now you see the laser dot is completely only red without any fan, the laser is centered. In order to start the measurement, go to the far side, and I will now subsequently turn the shafts and the sensors in machine direction. That is indicated by this white arrow here. So I start the measurement, I press the M in the middle, and when I start turning the shafts, you see the fan first turns into yellow and when I'm close to 90 degrees it turns into green. I still proceed over here as there is still some space available. I proceed as much as I can without touching with the rods or the sensors anything and to stop the measurement I hit the pick on blue ground. As a result you see on lower right side in vertical and horizontal each the gap and the offset all four readings show in red. That means there is currently a misalignment of our machine as we have not done carried out any shimming or movement. So what we do is we do the measurement twice in order to check for repeatability. So I move shafts and sensors in the starting position, press on the M on lower right side, I can press the M in the middle again, or to start the measurement, I can also press the arrow to the right on lower right side. And I start the measurement again. Allowed to stop during the rotation. Proceed as much as I can. Again, I hit the tick on blue ground on lower right side. Again, I get the result on right and on left side. I see how far have I turned. So I've turned for 257 degree. I reached 211 readings and I have a quality factor of 100%. Let's see how comparable the results are. In order to check this, I go into that table, which is on the right side in middle, just above the vertical readings. See the measurement table in front of us, obviously, we are very repeatable. You see vertical and horizontal in the middle. The readings are comparable, repeatable within 100. If I proceed a little bit to the right side, you see quality. The quality factor is for both, both measurements 100%. And the SD, the standard deviation, is 0.023 and 0.032 also a very small standard deviation that means the quality of our measurement is high. So that was how to carry out a speed measurement with Optoline Touch.